Hey guys, today I come your way with another exciting video on applied electricity. So let's dive into it. So um, today's video is about thermonine theory and we're going to take an example and we'll solve with it. So please make sure you watch this video to the end and also please check the subscription button and subscribe for more videos. So let's hit the road. So we're going to find the current in one ohm resistor using thermonine theory. So we have a diagram which is designed for us. And we are going to find the current in the one ohm resistor using Thevenin's theory. So let's check out the diagram. So this is a diagram that is a circuit diagram. So this is the diagram for us to find. So this is the diagram given to us, and we are asked to find the current in this one ohm resistor using Thevenin's theory. But note, we have current here and current here. So please make sure you watch this video to the end. And as if you've watched my previous video on Thevenin's theory, you will be able to understand this. So please, if you've not watched, please check that the description of this video and check the link and watch that. So now we have the diagram and the first thing we need to do is we are going to replace the one ohm resistor with a Thevenin voltage so you are going to replace it with what a Thevenin voltage now this is the principle of Thevenin that is you are going to replace where we are supposed to find a current with Thevenin voltage and after we find the Thevenin voltage and also we find the Thevenin resistance and since they are in series, we can find the what the current. So now we have the Thevenin's voltage here. Now, when you do that, the Thevenin's voltage become a source. That is, it become a source. Now you can choose your direction from anywhere you like. So, but before then, let's look at this. We need to find the total current moving back to the what the source. This is a one ampere bar. Uh, is one ampere current moving through this line. And this is 3 ampere. So when they meet here, it means the total current moving here will be 4 amps. So the total current will be what? 4 amps. So the sign will move like this. And also, it will also move like this. So it means that the total current also coming here will be what? 4 amps. Because there's 1 amp coming and 3 amps coming. So when they meet, they will form 3 a sum of four amps current so you know that the current passing through this two ohm resistor is four amps so now we know that now with the Thevenin, you need to choose your direction so i choose my direction to move this way so it means that when finding the Thevenin, you can choose any of the loops but i decided to choose this loop so i'm choosing this loop as what i'm going to work with but you can also choose this loop it will give you the same answer. So when you choose that loop, it means that we're going to get this plus that, which will give you, since the sign, when this sign moves here, it's going to, what, it be opposite to the current moving here. So I think when you do that, you're going to get the 4 volt plus the Thevenin's voltage. That's the 4 ohm plus the Thevenin's voltage. It's going to give you negative 2, which is a 2 ohm times the, what, the current. And when you do that, you're going to get the Thevenin's voltage to be negative 12 volts. The negative 12 volts simply is telling you that to show the direction in which you chose. So you can choose another direction which will give you what? Positive. So the negative is not affecting the voltage. It's just showing the direction in which the, the, the Thevenin's voltage you chose, right? So that's the direction you chose. That's why it's showing that. So when you are done with that, the next thing you need to do is we need to find the Thevenin resistance. Actually, the Thevenin resistance is the same as the normal resistance as you are finding. But note, when finding the Thevenin resistance, note this. If it's a current source, it becomes an open circuit. If it's a current source, you make it what, an open circuit. And it's, if it's a voltage source, it becomes what? A closed circuit. Note this. If it's a voltage source, it becomes what? A closed circuit. If it's what? A current source become what an open circuit. 
So let's do that. So when you do that, it's that is the third ending. So we have this. So with what I said about if it's a current, so as you can see now, this is a current as you see from the previous diagram. So it's now an what open source, right? This is an open source because that's where the current was. And this place was where the voltage was, but it's now a closed path. Now, now you replace them with this. So we are going to find the Tevanin's resistor. Now, when finding the Tevanin resistor, we assume that this become a source. So let's analyze this. When the source is coming here, it will directly pass through this two ohm. But when it passes through here, it will never come back to the source because this is what? An open what? Circuit. So it means that the current will not be able to move back. This is just imagination. So it means that the total resistor, that is the Thevenin resistor, will be what? Only two ohm, right? The two ohm resistor because this is an open circuit. Therefore, current will not be able to what? Pass through this. Note that. When it is a voltage source, it becomes a closed circuit. When it's a current source, it becomes what? An open circuit for Thevenin's theorem. So now let's look at that. So we have our Thevenin resistor. Now what do we do? Our formula for finding the current will be the Thevenin's voltage over the Thevenin resistor plus the resistor in which you are finding the current in. So this is very simple. It's like a series. It will be in series. I think it will be in series. And you know that if I is equal to I V, right? When you do that correctly, you are going to get negative 12 volt all over 2 ohm plus what? 1 ohm. And when you do that, you are going to get negative 4 amps. And this shows that it's just showing the direction of the current. Yes, it's showing the direction of the current. Thank you very much for watching this short video. Please make sure you subscribe for more videos.